Well, now we continue our coverage of Joplin one year later. Krista Dubill is leading our coverage from Joplin tonight. Krista, it's a day of unity, and I know you've seen a lot of people coming together there. It's pretty amazing to hear Gary talk about how large that tornado was, and it doesn't surprise anybody here to hear a description like that if they could hear Gary talk about it. But we're gathered here tonight, thousands of people for this memorial service in this park, right across from the destroyed St. John's Hospital. But it wasn't just Joplin that was destroyed. Chris Hernandez spent time in a community today that was also hit hard, but they don't get talked about very often. Yeah, that's right. Some of the walkers here came from pretty far to the east, and you have to keep in mind there was damage even beyond the Joplin city limits. Today we're talking about the village of Duquesne. It's a small town just to the east of Joplin, has about 1,600 residents, and eight people were killed. Duquesne lost also well over 200 homes and businesses. That's 60 to 70 percent of their village. Many of those homes still being rebuilt. Village Truck Visions has been selling truck accessories there for a decade. Their building is now brand new, so is the cell phone tower behind it. The eye of the tornado came right through this business. So I had a couple of eye beams left standing, a couple of red iron beams, and that was it. Um, the, cell, the cell tower behind us was, it looked like a roller coaster. I mean, there was nothing left. It's a good feeling. It really is. It's, to look around and see new houses and new businesses coming back, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, after plowing through Joplin and Duquesne, the tornado kept causing damage as it went east. It lifted up, but then, of course, it dropped back down a few times. Rick, the man you just heard from, lives 13 miles farther east. His home was fine, but Krista, his neighbor's house, completely destroyed. He lost everything. So you really have to keep in mind that even though uh, most of the stories have been about the, the horrific damage right here in the center of Joplin, right. this tornado was so massive, it affected a long path of destruction. You hear about